Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. I just realized it's been two weeks since I last posted a video, so it's video time. So in today's video, I'm going to be gaming on this Chromebook <laughs> and doing some shenanigans. Not sure what the video is going to be called yet. Shenanigans, gaming on a Chromebook, whatever it is, it's going to be crazy. Um, anyway, so this is the same model, uh, just in case. Oh gosh, I should be careful. Uh, anyway, just in case I called this video um, gaming on a school computer, I might have. This is not my school computer. This is the same model as my school computer. There's a difference. Um, that's in my backpack. Yes, I still go to school. Anyway, let's do some gaming. Don't do this on your school computer if you're watching this. This is not my school computer. Go. This computer costed me a whopping 35 US dollars. So, we got good battery health. Uh, the, that's the best part about a Chromebook. The battery lasts hours, hours, anyway. Um, so we have an N4020 at 4 gigs of RAM. Alrighty, so I'm going to be doing a little review on this. This is the Dell 3100 2-in-1. You can actually run out and go buy this too for $35. I'm assuming this is a decommissioned school computer because there's tons and tons of them for sale. So if you wanted to buy one, you could too. So this thing is still surprisingly good for web browsing anything like that um watching youtube videos the screen's acceptable it looks slightly washed out in the video but it's better in real life um the keyboard horrendous but you what are you gonna expect um i mean i've been typing on it <laughs> it's pretty bad but still <laughs> it's a keyboard best thing i can say about it um, YouTube videos play flawlessly at 1080p, no shenanigans like the last time I did a Chrome. Actually, I never made that video. Yeah, I got a $9 Chromebook and I never made a video about it. That was dumb of me. Anyway, so we're gonna, first thing we're gonna do is mess some messing about in Crostini, the legacy launcher. Now, we are gonna be running native Linux to see the performance difference, but I'm curious about this. To show, well, I wanna show you guys, I know what it is already. Um, so if you don't know what Crustini is, it's basically Linux on a Chromebook. <laughs> well, it is Linux on a Chromebook. I'm pretty sure, it's like a container, so it's like a virtual machine. Yeah, virtual machine. Pretty sure that's what it is. Um, so, it's a virtual machine, so the performance is worse. And also, 99% of the time, well, not that bad, but it likes to crash the game a lot. So a lot of the times it doesn't work, it gets stuck at assets and stuff. Oops, accidentally opened settings. Uh, it does that. Um, so let's just load up the game here. I'm pretty sure if I'm playing Minecraft, stressing the CPU, GPU, all that stuff, gets three hours of battery life, pretty sure. So that's pretty, ex that's acceptable. Oh, uh, but that's at full brightness, full tilt on the CPU, everything, so. Alrighty, Minecraft time. It's impossible to film this thing because of how glary it is. Like, I can see myself on bright backgrounds. Um, anyway, so, this runs acceptably, but if you start loading chunks, it gets really stuttery. And if you turn the render distance up any, it gets super laggy and stuttery. But, Linux... We'll fix that later. This is also heavily modded. Like, I can play the latest version of Minecraft fine on here, but this is heavily modded. So, yeah. The one I use the Legacy Launcher because it's super easy. works on Linux. I own the game, so I can just put it in. I really like the launcher. Not TL Launcher. Uh, T not T Launcher. TL Legacy. Safe. Um, yeah. So, this is what I'm doing. <laughs> um, what was it? Oh, yeah. The render distance is super low. I'll fix all that later. Oh, I remembered what I was gonna say. Um, what I was gonna say is that there is an annoying thing about TL Legacy. It gives you a random skin, and I can't figure out how to change that. So, I'm stuck with a skin that is embarrassing to use in public, which isn't ideal. Now, GeForce Now, Moonlight, open them all at the same time. Uh, I was streaming on this works great with GeForce Now, works great with Moonlight. Moonlight basically lets you, it's kind of like Steam Remote Desktop, um, lets you stream from your computer, uh, yeah, over your local network. Runs really well on this computer, and the screens, probably the best part about this cheap laptop, because I feel like for $35, you can't get any better than this, you know, uh, especially screen-wise. And considering the fact we can play Minecraft, I consider that a major win. Web browsing, I already said web browsing, YouTube, perfect like that. 
Uh, one of the major downsides is downsides is there's only this one has 32 gigs of storage. So solution here is a 128 gig SD card. Um, I'm actually going to use this computer probably a lot. Um, and you'll see what we have on that 128 gig SD card right after we shut off our computer. All right, well, we probably wonder, why did you shut off the computer? You're supposed to be making a video about it. Um, I use Mr. Chromebox Grips. Uh, be careful with that. could break your computer. I was really scared doing it. I had to unplug it, disconnect the battery. It was crazy. Disconnect the battery and stuff for write protect. Um, that's how I installed Linux on this. So that's what's on the 128 gig SD card. So here's what I have to do every time I turn on the computer. <laughs> Annoying OS verification is off screen. Do this, da 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 da. And for some reason it doesn't detect my SD card, so I have to hit boot menu, just USB generic device storage. And then boots Manjaro. Alright, this is Manjaro, one of my uh, my favorite Linux personally. I know people hate it for some reason. I don't remember why, but it's my favorite, so uh anyway. Um, there's a couple annoyances. We're going to talk about those real fast. So there's no way to change the brightness because, you know, these buttons do nothing. I couldn't figure out a way. Oh, I couldn't figure out a way to do it in the settings. So I had to install this program called Brightness CTL, type Brightness CTL uh, set and then whatever. Um, also, for some reason, you can't use the trackpad and the keyboard by default. It's also like this on Windows, but you could just change a setting. On here, you have to go and disable it through the terminal. I used X input. Um, so give that a Google uh, if you have one of these. But other than that, audio, uh, trackpad, I can right click, stuff like that, all works flawlessly. Now, you saw the terrible performance we're getting. Let's load up the Legacy Launcher on here and show you. Alrighty, um, I'll just tell you how it was running because, you know, you saw it last time. Anyway, it's a major, major performance incre um, increase. All the low settings still, but, you know, it's fine. Um, but it gets around 100 FPS on the lowest, lowest settings. No stutters. Perfectly fine. And you could even turn the settings up a little bit. Um, from, from a 40 stuttery mess, same mod, same world. Yeah, and it runs incredible. Even ran shaders. Only like 8 FPS, but still. It was the extreme... The compliment, I don't remember. It was extreme something. Anyway, let's look at the other games we got on here. We got Half-Life. Do I even need to run a game for 1994 to show you that it runs at a locked 60 frames? Oh yeah, touchscreen doesn't work. That's another downside. Who likes that anyway? Super Tux Card. I might actually be gaming a little bit on this computer because of how lightweight and stuff it is. Tux. Normal Race. I like this one. Oh yeah, um, you do get audio controls, um, but you can't, you, you have to use the side buttons and not this. Um, well, this is a chaotic race here. Ah, uh, dang it, uh, I can't do this with one hand. Let me know if you guys want to see me Twitch stream Super Text Card, that'd probably be funny. Um, I don't even have Twitch. Oh, gosh darn it. Uh, I'm sure you get the point, this game runs perfectly. <laughs> I really like small laptops, which is basically the main reason why I got into Chromebooks, because there really isn't any modern cheap options for small laptops, because um, I'm a big netbook fan, but they um, they can't even run this game. This has basically been my performance test for stuff. Um, yeah. Now this was only $35, you get a nice 11 inch screen. How do you use? Nitrous. Oh gosh darn. What in the world? Um, whatever. Runs good. Um, <clears throat> now let's play a game. I'll actually be playing on this stupidly. RuneScape. Oh, dang it. It started a second early. Um, took a second to start. I mean, RuneScape. I'm going to be playing this because it runs, who would have thought, really dang good. I do need a mouse though for this. But it runs really well. Obviously low settings, but I mean... Could you even tell from these amazing graphics? Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm actually going to be playing this. Um, never really played RuneScape or anything like this, really. So, And it runs great on this computer. So, Alrighty, let's load up Steam. 
Alrighty, so Half-Life, all old source games like this should run fine on Linux on this computer. And Muck, we'll play that. Let's give that a play, shall we? There's one thing I almost forgot to mention. Um, when you're gaming, doing anything at all, really. Hot. I had P-Sensor. Um, when I was downloading a Steam game, it got to 97 Celsius. Um, just while downloading a Steam game, so... Not cool. Uh, not cool. Let's see what it- anyway. Yeah, I'm waiting. Waiting. Huh, it is playable in low settings. Uh, this is indeed a problem in this computer. It does like the lock up. Could be the SD card. Um, changing the graphics setting, the game locked up, but it is playable when it's not locked up, so. Uh, very, it's borderline playable. It's not that great, but it's playable. Oh, are you kidding me? A 2 gig update? Uh, I kind of want to try one more time. The, the last time I played, it just gets stuck on the screen, locks up the entire computer, and I have to force restart it. Uh, so we're probably not going to try that one again. But yeah, that's what happens when you try to run Counter-Strike 2, in case you cared. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. My conclusion is, this is an incredible little computer for $35 it is. Bye! I don't hate Chromebooks anymore.